Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make crepes, or the French pronunciation, I believe, is crepe. I had a request on, to make a video on crepes, so here we go. Crepes are really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. First, some people like to do this in a blender. Um, so I got a blender here, but I'm gonna actually do this with a hand mixer. You can use a stand mixer if you want, or you can uh, use a whisk. But uh, let's first start off with two eggs, one and a half cups of milk. This is 2% milk, but you can use 1% or whole milk if you like. One teaspoon of oil, this is canola oil, or you could use vegetable oil. Also, some people like to substitute the oil with butter. Take like a tablespoon of butter and melt it and put it in there. All right, I'm gonna blend this together well. And now, I'm gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And that is the base batter for crepes. If you're gonna make a sweet crepe, what I like to do is I like to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. If you're making a savory crepe, leave out the vanilla extract, leave out the sugar, and then add an extra half teaspoon of salt. Mix this together. And there we go. Now, for some reason, it's pretty lumpy and you can't get the lumps out. You can throw this through a strainer. Now, some people will chill this for about an hour in the refrigerator. I don't do that. I don't find it necessary, but you certainly can um, if you're having trouble with your batter. And now this batter is ready to go. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat on the stove between medium and medium high. And now I just have a eight inch nonstick skillet here. You, they do have a crepe skillet that you can buy. I'll put a link down below if you wanna get one of those. Or they also have these little crepe making kits that you can get that are pretty cool. I'll put a link down below in the description for those as well. Now, once our pan is getting heated up, I'm gonna also take a little bit of butter, not a whole lot. I'm gonna put it in the pan. I have a ladle here and it holds about a quarter cup worth of batter. If you don't have a ladle like this, you can just use a, a quarter cup if you want, but this works really nicely. And then what I do, is I'm gonna come in here and grab some batter and I'm gonna pour the pan or tilt the pan, lift it off the heat, tilt it up, and just go in here and pour this in there, and then tilt the pan. Like that. Put it back on the heat. And then this is gonna take, oh, about a minute, minute and a half on this side. And what we want it to do is we want it to get nice and dry on top. And then we're gonna take a spatula just come underneath here. Oops. And flip it over. Like that. That wasn't the best flip. And just like pancakes, the first one usually doesn't turn out the best, but that's okay. You can still eat it. And then when we flip it over on this side, it's just gonna be there uh, for 10, 20 seconds. Okay. And if you look at this side, that's ideally what you like to see is these little blotches on there. That looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it over here. Tilt it up, get some batter. Turn it over. You can just go ahead and stack them up on each other. They're not gonna, they won't stick. All right, now that our crepes are done, it's time to prepare them. There's so many different ways that you can make a crepe. You can do a sweet crepe, which is what I am doing. You can do savory, totally up to you. Some of my favorite toppings are strawberries, Nutella, bananas, uh, whipped cream, Cool Whip, um, honey, uh, powdered sugar, so many different uh, varieties. Drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite kind of crepe is. Right now, I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites. And for this one, I'm just gonna do a classic Nutella one. And so you just grab some Nutella, 
um, however much that you want. I'm not gonna put a ton on there. For the really big crepes that you get like at the crepe shop, usually what I've seen is they'll take it and they'll fold it over like that. And then they'll fold it over one more time like that. So that's a cool way to do one, one of my favorite ways. And you can top it off with powdered sugar. Another favorite way of mine is we'll grab some of this Cool Whip and then I'll line it with strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Love strawberries. Almost as much as bacon. All right. And then on this one, I am just going to fold that over and then roll it up. And then you can top it off however you like. So there's a couple of my favorite uh, ways to eat a crepe. Again, let me know what your favorite way is. All right, our crepes are done. Yummy, really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go into this one right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.